Welcome to Entrepreneurs International Network, where entrepreneurs learn, network, and grow. I'm Roger Killen, the organizer. Today, Gary Rogers is going to help you amplify your impact with a memorable uh, elevator pitch. Gary, I've got three questions that are going to help us uh, get to know you at a personal level. Question number one. What is the best decision that you have ever made? <laughs> Probably marry my wife. But other than that, from a business standpoint, uh, uh, I started my own television production company years and years ago uh, with the same equipment they have at NBC, CBS. Uh, uh, and uh, the best decision I ever made was hiring somebody that knew how to use all that equipment. I had no idea how to use any of it. Uh, and you're only as good as the people that you surround yourself with. Okay. Next question. We each have one life. What impact would you like to have with yours? I love teaching. Uh, I, I love to see the results of uh, working with individuals and helping them learn skills that I've uh, learned through uh, a lot of experience. I, I, I love seeing the results of teaching. Okay. So the impact is transferring your knowledge to a wider audience. Beautiful. Very noble. And the final question is, uh, what is the biggest challenge, personal or professional, that you've ever had to overcome? Uh, well, I was born very, very poor. Uh, I was so poor that when I was uh, 12 years old, I didn't even own a bicycle. And we were the recipients for Sub for Santa. Uh, they gave me a bike. That was the first bike I'd ever owned. I learned very quickly that the only way I was going to get anywhere is to work hard. And I think being poor, uh, being born poor, was really one of the best advantages I ever had. It helped me get off the ground and work hard. And I try to carry that on uh, through the rest of my life. It's, isn't it amazing that how every cloud somehow, if you find, if you look for it, has got itself a silver lining? And yeah. you've, you've, you're living proof of that. Okay, some messages for attendees. Uh, Gary's talk is quite interactive and Gary is going to get his energy from you. So if at all possible, please turn on your video. Come on camera so that, uh, so that Gary can take your energy and, and deliver for you an even better uh, workshop than would otherwise be the case. Uh, secondly, please stay muted and type any questions that you've got into the chat. Uh, at about every 10 minute intervals, I will pose the questions to Gary. Rest assured, all your questions will be answered by the end of Gary's workshop. Now, this workshop is going to be recorded, is being recorded, and uh, the recording uh, will give rise to a link and you'll be sent the link. It'll probably be tomorrow. Uh, so unless you really want to, you don't have to take notes. Uh, if you don't take notes, don't worry. You're going to get a link to the recording of Gary's video. As I mentioned, I have turned on the closed captions feature so that if you're hearing challenged, at least you can read everything that Gary has to say. All right, Gary, are you ready to knock our socks off? <laughs> well, I'm going to try my best. Uh, thank you. Uh, again, my name is Gary Rogers. I'm from Alpine, Utah, which is just uh, 30 miles south of Salt Lake City. we got a lot of Canadians uh, here today. Uh, uh, I love Canada. I lived uh, in Vancouver, British Columbia for a year, lived on the island in Victoria for six months. Uh, I get up there as often as I can. I absolutely love that part of the world. Uh, as you can see, I'm a very, very old man. I've been around for a long time and hopefully you can benefit from some of the experience that I've had throughout the years. Uh, uh, I'm gonna talk about elevator uh, pitches uh, today. 
uh, first, let me give you just a little bit of background. Uh, why should I coach you in anything? What right do I have? I started my career with 3M Company way over 50 years ago as a salesperson. Uh, I did well at sales and they promoted me to a sales trainer teaching other people how to sell. And eventually they promoted me to a sales man, I'm sorry, to a training manager where I taught a lot of different courses, one of which was public speaking skills. Uh, they wanted me to teach their corporate managers how to uh, how to speak well and not put their uh, people to, uh, to sleep. Uh, that was a fun course. And I talked to 3M company into doing something uh, quite revolutionary. Uh, I put a camera and a video recorder in our training room. Now, this was years before home video. This was very, very expensive equipment. And uh, we taped, videotaped uh, their presentations that, uh, uh, and then played them back to let them see the mistakes that we were trying to get them to avoid. And as soon as they saw themselves making those mistakes, it literally revolutionized our training. They, they would say, oh, my gosh, am I doing that? Uh, a picture's worth a thousand words. And I fell in love with video at that time, so much so that 10 years later, uh, I started my own television production company. And again, I didn't know anything about uh, television production other than how to turn a camera on and put a, a cassette recording uh, in uh, the recorder. Uh, the best decision I ever made was hiring somebody that knew how to operate that equipment. I went out on the street and started to peddle our wares. Little by little, we got some uh, attention, and I spent the next 35 years in the television production motion picture industry. Uh, uh, my company produced television commercials, infomercials, corporate videos for many of the great companies in the world. Uh, our clients included AT&T, Motorola, Mitsubishi, Coldwell Banker, uh, Rogers Communications up in Canada, uh, Coca-Cola, uh, Nissan, I could go on and on and on. I uh, sold my company about 15 years ago and retired. Uh, that lasted all of two weeks. I got so sick of just sitting around doing nothing. I knew I had to do something with the rest of my life. And just then, uh, video conferencing using a webcam uh, was becoming popular on the Internet. The bandwidth was such that you could talk to anybody in the world that had an Internet connection. I thought, well, this is something I could certainly help people with. Uh, I've got to tell you that I made every mistake in the book. I was and still am a computer idiot. I don't have a computer mind. Uh, I had no following when I started my business. I had no list. And people told me that, Gary, if you want to make any money, you've got to spend a lot of money on Google ads and Facebook ads uh, so that people would know what you're doing. And I listened to them and I did. I spent a ton of money over a period of several years uh, and I would get a client here and a client there, but it wasn't justifying the money I was spending. I was really losing money. And eventually I decided, I, hey, I've either got to go back to retirement or I've got to figure out some way to attract attention, to let people know who I am and what, how I can help them. And I had a friend that uh, told me about networking organizations where you could go and give a, a elevator pitch free of charge, uh, promoting your product, your service, your course, whatever. And I thought, well, boy, that sounds like a good idea. He gave me a couple of URLs and I went and visited a couple of places and I just watched what they were doing, giving elevator pitches in one area. Uh, literally a hundred people will get up in front of uh, others in the group, uh, giving a 60 second elevator pitch. Most of them were just doing a terrible job with their elevator pitches. And I thought, boy, this is something I can really help people with. I'd spent 50 years uh, in that type of uh, business. Uh, so I started coaching online uh, about a dozen years ago. Uh, and uh, when I started giving an elevator pitch, people started to, to, to come to me. Uh, and I found a secret. 
I found that if I could get people to spend a few minutes with me, uh, they would uh, learn who I am and what I could do and whether or not I might be able to do something to help them. So I made a bold statement in my elevator pitch. Uh, I invited people to spend 30 minutes with me in a free Zoom session where I promised that if they would come and spend 30 minutes with me, I would teach them some skills that would greatly help them in their business. And people started signing up free of charge. They've got nothing to lose. Uh, and again, people got to know me. And I found that people uh, tend to buy from individuals that they have a comfort level with. Uh, I did this for a number of years. My business started to, to take off. And then I, I started thinking, uh, again, I'm an old man, as you can see. And it takes me a while to realize things. I said, Gary, you are an idiot. You've got to take your elevator pitch and put it into a promotional video and then post it and send it out to literally thousands of people. When I started doing that, inviting them again to a free uh, workshop, uh, my business literally started to take off overnight. I'm going to spend the next few minutes trying to teach you a few, a few skills that hopefully will help you do the same in your business. Uh, elevator pitches, uh, again, people make a lot of mistakes. The biggest mistake that people make in an elevator pitch is not connecting with the people that they're talking to. And there's a reason for that. Uh, everything I do is on a webcam. Uh, it, it's free. It's easy to reach uh, literally hundreds of millions or billions of people on the Internet. But the biggest problem with a webcam is uh, to connect with people. You, you want to look at the people you're talking to. And if you're on a laptop, and I suspect that most of you on this call are on a laptop, you look down at the people you're talking to. Now, I'm looking down, and I've lost connection with every single one of you right now. If I'm looking down at you on a laptop, <laughs> you don't feel connected with me at all. Now you feel connected with me because I'm looking straight into my video camera. Uh, but I And I did this for the first three years I started uh, uh, my coaching online, it drove me crazy because I couldn't see the people I was talking to when I looked straight into the camera. Well, I learned a little trick, and I'm going to try to teach that to you. It usually takes me about an hour to fully cover this program. I'm going to try to do it in five minutes. Uh, I'm going to talk as quickly as I can. Fortunately, you've got that you can replay this and uh, uh, go back and watch it again. Uh, uh, when I came on camera at the start of this presentation, uh, I minimized my Zoom screen about three quarter uh, about three quarter size, and uh, I, whenever I talk to somebody, I move them directly above my camera lens. Now, since a picture is worth a thousand words, I'm going to go to screen share, and I'm going to show you rather than try to tell you what I'm doing. This is my setup right now. Now, I'm not on a laptop. I'm on a desktop, and here's my screen. Now, you don't have to have any of this fancy equipment. All you need is a webcam and a monitor. Uh, now, you can see my webcam is right here. And it's on a nice lead base, and it's got an extension where you can move it up and down. Now, here's the key, and I'm going to do this very quickly, and this is going to be confusing to you because I am moving so quickly. Uh, the one thing you want is a, a, a webcam at the center of your screen, at the center of your screen. Uh, and as you can see, it's right in the center of my desktop. Uh, screen. Now, I mentioned that I reduced the size of my screen, and I'm going to show you in this next step. This is a photograph that I took a number of years ago. Uh, when you reduce the screen, you just click the square button up here. That reduces it about a quarter size, and you see all my email and back of it once I reduce the screen. 
Uh, you can minimize the screen and exit out of the screen. The only one you want is uh, the square up there to reduce it. Now, once it's reduced, you can take your mouse and left click it and hold it down in the white area up at the top of your Zoom screen. It can only be done in the white area. You've got to hold your left uh, your left click down and then drag that Zoom screen anywhere you want on your monitor. Now, I wanted the person I was talking to to be right above my camera lens, which is right there. She's right above my camera lens. I can see her. She can see me. Uh, we've got the best of both worlds. She feels totally connected because I'm looking straight into her eyes. And she feels totally connected with me. Now, I'm going to go one step further. You can do this on a much larger Zoom call. Uh, this is a fellow by the name of Dave, David Fagan. He's got about 140 people on this call. The others are on other screens. Now, there are 20 people on this screen. And when I'm talking to David Fagan, I moved him just above my camera lens. He felt totally connected. I felt totally connected with him. But the beauty is that every one of those 19 other people on that screen and more than 100 others on other screens felt that I was looking straight into their eyes and felt totally connected with me. Uh, it revolutionized my business. Now, let me go another screen. You can do this just as easily on a laptop as you can a desktop. Now, on a laptop, I had to put some books underneath it so that my webcam would be centered right in the middle of my laptop screen. And then again, I just moved the person I was talking to right above my camera lens. She felt connected with me. I felt connected with her. It literally revolutionized by my business when I learned this secret. Uh, right now, uh, I can, uh, I'm, I'm going to move my uh, camera. I'm looking at Adrian and he's looking down. Oh, there he's looking up. And he went just like that. Now you folks uh, on this playback can't see these people, uh, but I can see them right now. Now I'm looking at uh, Rita. Uh, Rita is looking down. Now she's looking up a little bit uh, and I'm looking at Alex. He's look. Oh, there he's looking up and he's got some light flashing on him. Uh, uh, I can see every single one of you, uh, and you didn't know I was moving you around. It, again, uh, revolutionized my business. All of you feel like I'm talking straight into your eyes or looking straight into your eyes right now, and you all feel connected with me. The moment I move my eyes away, uh, again, if I look down, none of you feel connected with me at all. If I look at a monitor, my, the other side of my desktop monitor or this side of my desktop monitor, none of you feel connected with me. Now you do. It's the simplest thing that anybody can do. But in order to do it, you have to have a separate uh, external webcam and you've got to uh, put it on a tripod and then just put it right in front of your screen at, at the center of the screen. Again, it's the easiest thing you can possibly do. Uh, but if you don't want to do that, then you have to do what I did for the first three years. You got to look straight into that camera lens in order for anybody to feel connected with you. That's the number one key I could teach anybody. If you're doing anything online and every one of you are online right now, uh, the best thing you can ever do is look straight into that camera or do what I've done, uh, set your camera in front of you on an external camera and move the people uh, that you're talking to right above the camera lens. They'll feel connected and you can see uh, their reactions, what you want to see uh, instead of looking down at them uh, to see their reactions. They're there in the camera lens. That's the most important thing that I could teach uh, anybody. Uh, and that's one of the most important things in an elevator pitch. I see people in networking sessions uh, looking at a script, reading a script in their elevator pitch. The audience is there. Nobody can feel connected when you're doing that. 
And it's so simple to do. Any person in this room or watching this replay can easily do what I'm doing right now. And if you're a coach, if you're doing anything online using a webcam, uh, this is the most important thing that you will ever learn. Now, elevator pitches. And uh, I know Roger's going to interrupt me to ask questions. Uh, uh, and Roger, you can do that anytime you're ready. There's so, no, no questions okay. thus far, Gary. No questions? No questions thus far. Well, either I'm a lousy teacher or maybe I've taught you everything that you need to know. A uh, uh, couple of the th things in an elevator pitch. Most people really struggle in their elevator pitches because they're not prepared. They don't know what to say. They ramble. They, uh, they wander. Uh, they talk too much or they talk too much about themselves. Uh, what I can do, uh, uh, what I've done in the past. Uh, they, nobody cares what I've done in the past. They want to know what I can do for them. Uh, when I went to these sessions and watched other people giving an elevator pitch, and I'm going to just use as a platform a 60 second pitch. Now you can spend 30 seconds or one minute or two minutes, uh, but I'm going to just concentrate on a 60 second elevator uh, pitch. Uh, 30 seconds is easy, even easier uh, to do. Uh, two minutes or three minutes, that's all the time in the world. When you get into breakout rooms, you can spend more time, but I'm just going to use as a reference a 60 second elevator pitch. I'm going to give you my normal elevator pitch. When I started, I asked people to spend 30 minutes with me on a free Zoom session. I did that for years. About five months ago, I started giving a free elevator pitch workshop. And you can see the link above my head where if you want, you can go to that link right now and register for a free elevator pitch workshop. Uh, when I go to networking sessions, uh, uh, giving a, a, a uh, elevator pitch, I'm gonna give you the exact elevator pitch that I use when I go to a networking session. Uh, I'm going to one on Monday. I'm gonna give the pitch that I'm gonna give right now. I'm going to one on Wednesday. Uh, I do them every week. Uh, and I'm talking to people that are obviously giving elevator pitches themselves. And I make a bold statement. Anybody can build a six-figure income with a marketable service or product giving a good elevator pitch. But most of you are really struggling when it comes to giving a good elevator pitch. I'm going to conduct a free elevator pitch workshop where you will learn how to co command attention uh, open doors for you and uh, put a lot more money in your pocket by uh, uh, creating and delivering a powerful elevator pitch. Now, uh, anybody can do this with a proper direction. And I've directed a lot of Hollywood stars in my career, including Academy Award winning actor, Charlton Heston. And if I can direct Moses, I'm not going to have any problem at all uh, directing any one of you with your elevator pitch. Now, that's my elevator pitch. Uh, actually, one last thing. I forgot this. I make a lot of mistakes. Uh, uh, the last thing I do is uh, let them know that uh, you need to register. You can do it at the link above my head, or I'll leave a link in the chat box. That's it. That's all I say. Now, I had to think about that very carefully before I gave it, because I watched so many people the first time I saw one of these things really floundering. And they were floundering, the biggest reason, because they hadn't prepared. Uh, I've only got 60 seconds. That's a maximum in a normal clip of 145 words. So first step. I promised in my elevator pitch that I would help them create and deliver a powerful elevator pitch that could com command attention, open doors for you, and put a lot more money in your pocket. 
Now, the first thing I said in my elevator pitch was a lot of you are really struggling with your elevator pitch. Now, why would I say something like that? Because it, it, it hits a nerve to all the people in the room, my target audience. The first thing that you need to do in creating a great elevator pitch is determine who your target audience is. My target audience right now is everybody watching this. If you're doing anything on the internet that uses a webcam, you're my target audience. You need to think about your target audience. Who do you want to speak to? Next thing you want to do is determine what your ultimate objective is with your elevator pitch. Your ultimate objective, my ultimate objective is to get you to go to that URL and sign up for a free elevator pitch. That's my objective. That's the only objective I have in my elevator pitch. You need to think about your objective. Now, what are the words that I need to create or you need to create in my elevator pitch or your elevator pitch? I know my target audience is you, anybody doing any business on the internet using a webcam uh, that's got a product or a service uh, to sell. That's my target audience. What am I gonna say to my target audience? Now I know my target audience are people that are struggling, struggling. I dare say that most everybody watching this right now, the biggest problem you have is Promotion, promoting your product, your service, your business, whatever it is you want to promote. That's your number one problem. The easiest and fastest, and I found the best way to reach your target audience is through an elevator pitch. Every penny, every penny that I make comes from an elevator pitch. I learned this the hard way years ago. Every single penny comes from an elevator pitch. Now, when I first started, I, I started thinking, what am I going to say? I've only got 60 seconds. That's a maximum of 145 words at a normal clip. And I suggest leave yourself five seconds. Uh, instead of 60 seconds, give yourself some time for pauses and uh, to make it really relatable, if you will. Uh, now, what about the words? Well, my target audience are people on the internet, uh, and most of them are struggling to get an audience. And I told them in my elevator pitch, most of you are really struggling with your elevator pitch. I would invite any one of you, whatever your product or your service is, there's a problem that they're having that relates to your service and how you can help them. You need to make them aware of that problem. And then your job is to help solve that problem with whatever your course, your product, your service is. I found the best way to do that is to invite them to spend some free time with me where I can, I can help them with their their product, their service, their course, I can help them uh, promote that product or service or course. I can give them tips that are va very valuable to them. Now, the same thing, you can do exactly the same thing, whatever your product or service is. Uh, these people have problems. And whatever your product or service or course is, You've got something that help them that can help them solve those problems. And indeed, if you invite them to spend 15 minutes, 30 minutes, or my elevator pitch, I've extended that to 90 minutes. I knew that I couldn't do a good job in 30 minutes. So I, I'm giving them 90 minutes free of charge. And you can decide whatever time you want uh, that, that will get them excited to spend time with you. Now, my words, I thought of very carefully. First word, 
most of you are really struggling with your elevator pitches. Well, that hit a nerve with my audience. Second, I'm conducting a free, that's a powerful word. Every word you need to think out very carefully. A free, that's a powerful word. I dare say if I said, uh, I'm conducting a, an elevator pitch workshop where you will blah, 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 and it's only going to cost you $175. I dare say that most people wouldn't come to my elevator pitch workshop. I have no right to ask them for $175 in 60 seconds. They don't know me. They don't know what I can do. They know nothing at this point. That would just be foolish for me to do. So I'm going to invite them to spend 90 minutes with me where I promise to help them create and deliver, not just create, but deliver a powerful, now that's another real powerful word, uh, not a mediocre elevator pitch, but a powerful elevator pitch uh, that will uh, command attention, open doors for you, and put a lot more money in your pocket. Now, people want to command attention in an elevator pitch. They want doors to open in an elevator pitch. And I don't know anybody in their right mind that doesn't want to put more money in their pocket. So those are all powerful words that I promise to help people with in a free elevator pitch workshop, a free Zoom session. This is all done live where we can get together and talk and, uh, and uh, do exercises. Uh, uh, those I felt were powerful words that would attract people to just go to my, uh, my uh, scheduling form and sign up at that URL that you see right above my, uh, my head. It, when I started doing that, people, every time that I do this, every time that I do this, people sign up for my free elevator pitch workshop. I've never had a bad elevator pitch workshop. I learn from the people that I work with. I love working with people and I love helping them uh, in skills that will help them in their business. I've gotten to the point now where about half of the people that come to the, my free session end up becoming course members, purchasing my course and working with me. That's incredible. 50% is incredible. A, a month ago, I, I broke my record. 100% of everybody that showed up actually became course members. Uh, I'd probably never be able to do that again, uh, but you can do the same thing with your coaching your product, your service, whatever it is you want to do. Uh, it, it, it's just so simple to do, but it, it takes a lot of uh, thinking and some skill on your part. Uh, you've got to really think out those words carefully. 60 seconds can go by in just an instant uh, I had to get them to come to my course when I get, gave my elevator pitch. When I started that years ago, I used to tell them my URL, the URL that you have to go to to get to my free elevator pitch is HTTPS colon slash slash www dot company dot com forward slash elevator pitch. It takes half of that 60 seconds just to say that. Well, all I do is I say, go to the link above my screen, or I'll put a link in the chat box. And that's it. Harry, uh, it takes Harry. about five seconds. Go ahead. On this subject, a question from Ritu. Uh, how did you add the URL above your current screen? Uh, how do you make that? How do you add that in order that it shows up when you're broadcasting? Okay, that's a great question. Uh, I, I, this is not my, my office. That's a phony. It's a fake. Uh, I'm using a virtual background. And in fact, I'll take just one second here. Uh, that's a photograph. 
It's a lousy, phony, fake photograph. And I simply embedded uh, my URL at the top of it. Uh, I can take you to my hotel room in Honolulu. You see the beautiful Pacific Ocean back there. Uh, or I could take you to breaking news or I could put a nice block background in behind me. Now, the problem with virtual backgrounds, and you see this happening literally uh, all the time, is when people move, their hair goes crazy. Uh, half of their face will dissolve. Uh, their fingers will fall off. Uh, there's reasons why those things happen. And as long as we're talking about it, uh, if you're doing an elevator pitch live, you don't want any distractions. Now, the re and I'm not, I can't go into that. I don't have time to do it on this program, but we spend just a, a slight uh, minute or two on my free elevator pitch. I can spend more time there. But the way I did that is just to uh, superimpose the URL on the photograph the, of my office, which is not my office. Uh, uh, it, uh, hopefully, I answered that question. Any other questions? Uh, yes. A question from Donna. When you sign up for your course, you said schedule it. So Donna wants to know if uh, if when she clicks that HTTPS link that I've given her, uh, that she's going to get one on one or she's going to no, be involved this, in a mastermind. That's not my course. You're not signing up for my course at that URL. You're signing up for a 90 minute free elevator pitch workshop where I'm going to spend 90 minutes helping you create and deliver your own powerful elevator pitch, giving yes. you skills on just one subject. My course covers a multitude of things, uh, uh, helping people promote Gary, their business. Gary, Don is asking, is this one-on-one -on -one for 90 minutes? Is it one-on-one -on -one or is it group? It's a group and I'm, I limit the group size uh, so that I, I I can deal with a smaller uh, group. Uh, it's not open to everybody. And I, I close it off when I get to that maximum uh, level. It's a group uh, uh, coaching. Thank you. Scott wants to know, are you using a green screen right now? I am. I have no but, further uh, questions. Green screen is only... Only the first thing that you need if you want really good quality. And we, uh, in my coaching, in my course, we spend a good deal of time uh, teaching people how to do that if they want to do that. Uh, that's part of my course. Uh, but yes, uh, I do use a green screen. No further questions right now. Okay, great. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. What was I talking about? Uh, uh, You're talking about content of elevator, elevator pitch. Elevator pitches. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, your elevator pitch uh, needs to have powerful words that relate to what your product, your service, or your coaching uh, covers. Uh, a good salesperson is simply helping people solve problems. Uh, now, although I own my production company, uh, I, I had to sell everything that I've ever done in my life. I, I trained my own salespeople. I started with an idea. I knew nothing about television production. I had to go out on the street and peddle my wares. And I got somebody crazy enough to sign a contract to, for me to produce a video for them. And I had no experience producing videos. I then hired an experienced production individual that knew how to use the very expensive equipment. This is back in the old days when a television camera cost $80,000 and uh, the editing equipment, a quarter of a million uh, dollars. Uh, uh, now today you can do essentially the same thing. Uh, that $80,000 television camera, you can do the same thing with a, a, a smartphone, a good smartphone. And one, one other thing, if you're, if you're giving your uh, webcam, if you will, uh, elevator pitch, and if you're doing it on a smartphone, don't do it this way. Turn it horizontally so you fill up most of the screen. You see so many people 
on their smartphones and you've got two big, ugly black boxes on either side of you. Uh, it'll give you much better quality if you just turn your smartphone uh, horizontally instead of uh, vert vertically. Now, back to the elevator pitch. Barry, before you do that, a couple of people are still confused about what you're offering for free for 90 minutes. I'm offering a free elevator pitch workshop where I will uh, teach you skills that will help you develop a powerful elevator pitch that will allow people, allow you to command attention in your pitch, open doors for you and put a lot more money in your pocket. I'm gonna teach you skills, it's some true. of which I've already mentioned. Gary, the confusion is the format. The format of the 90 minute uh, freebie, is it a small group and is it live? It is live, it is a small group. Uh, 15 people maximum. I never allow more than 15 people in the group. It's live, just like we're doing. Well, I shouldn't say that because the recording, most of the people that will watch this will only be seeing me. But I'm seeing a lot of other people live right here. And when we get together in the workshop, it is live where you're on camera. Nobody can come without their webcam turned on. I couldn't help you. Uh, if you entered without a webcam. And, so people, it, and people can ask questions. Oh, absolutely. Okay. So Gary, that, that solves the confusion. You can't teach anybody uh, without uh, interaction, without them asking questions. Uh, uh, everything that I teach is interactive live on Zoom. Thank you for asking uh, that question. Okay, now where was I again? <laughs> Back to the elevator pitch workshop. Uh, the elevator pitch. You've got to think out the words. You've got to have a call to action. What is your objective? What I see so many people giving elevator pitches and they just wander all over the place. Uh, well, visit my website. Well, if that's what you want them to do, then you need to specify that and you need to give them your website address in that 60 seconds. You've got to think this out very carefully. There's no sense in getting on an elevator pitch if you don't have a purpose for being there. Uh, and certainly uh, in my purpose, it's to get you to my free uh, workshop, whatever that workshop is. That's my objective in this elevator pitch. Your elevator pitch is to get them, I'm suggesting, that you can do exactly the same thing that I do in my business. Now, I really struggled those first few years because I wasn't doing this. I sent out webinars. I sent out uh, uh, emails. Uh, I spent a ton of money in putting Google ads, and it would just break in my bank account. I would, again, uh, get somebody here and there, but it wasn't bringing me the business I needed. And I dare say that most of you are struggling like I struggled when I started. Uh, and it wasn't until I discovered that I could offer an elevator pitch and give in my elevator pitch, I wanted to give people real value. I invited them to spend, again, you can decide how much time you want, 15 minutes, 30 minutes. For years, it was just 30 minutes where I promised the people that I would give them some skills that would greatly help them in their business. You can do the same thing. I don't know what your, your uh, product or service or course is, doesn't matter. It needs to be promoted. It needs to be promoted or you're not gonna get anybody uh, to buy that product, that service or your course. And uh, I discovered a way to really accelerate promoting my paid course by letting people get to know me and what I can do to help them in whatever product or service or course they have. If people come and spend uh, uh, the time with me and decide, no, nah, he can't help me at all, uh, no problem. Uh, I've gained wonderful friends 
uh, for years that have never bought my course. Uh, but if 50% of people end up uh, becoming members of my course, you can't touch that kind of uh, value with a thousand foot pole. And it's something that anybody can do if they have a webcam and you don't have to have this kind of webcam. You can do it on your laptop with a webcam built in the top, but you've got to look straight into that camera uh, when you're talking to them, if you want them to feel connected with you, anybody can do this. It is so simple, but here's the problem. Here's the big problem. Uh, it was Kent before we came on here and I, I got to see everybody. Uh, Kent said he wanted to learn how, uh, and it was frightening for him to get on camera uh, and it's frightening for most people. The biggest single fear that most people on this earth have is public speaking. And right now, I'm, I'm public speaking, if you will. And if you get on a webcam, you're doing the same thing. And it's even more frightening because you're doing something that's a little unnatural for you. You're looking straight into a camera uh, instead of talking to somebody in real life, looking straight into their eyes. And that doubles the fear of public speaking. Most people, when they get on, uh, on the webcam and their elevator pitch, I'm going to give my elevator pitch the way most people would do it. Most people will read from a, uh, from a, a, a uh, three by five card or a piece of paper. Uh, Hi, my name is Gary Rogers. Uh, you can build a great six-figure business with a good elevator pitch. I'm conducting, but most of you are really struggling uh, with your elevator pitch. So I'm conducting a free elevator pitch workshop where you will learn uh, how to create and deliver a powerful elevator pitch that will command attention, open doors for you, and put a lot more money in your pocket. That's the way most people give an elevator pitch. There's, you're not commanding attention. Uh, you're not opening doors. Uh, it, it's just very poor. Uh, first, you've got to think of the words, the words. And you've got to think very carefully those words. And I, in my course, we actually, I work together with each one of my students, helping them literally put their 60 second pitch together on paper. Uh, you got to get the right words. Now, once you've got the words, the words are really worthless, totally worthless, unless uh, you can make those words come alive. And that's the struggle that most people really have. Anybody can put together a 60 second script, but to make that script really mean something, you've got to have the right words, first of all, but then you've got to make those words come alive. And that, that's just something that anybody can do with the right training. One of the things that makes my blood boil is you in my state, in the United States, uh, you can graduate from high school without having a mandatory speech class. That to me is almost criminal. The most important thing a person learns, a little teeny baby is learns how to talk, how to speak. But the one thing we don't teach people in school is how to speak properly, how to communicate with people. Uh, I've been doing that. Uh, for three quarters of my life, literally. And it's something that anybody can do. Uh, Warren Buffett, considered to be the greatest investor in the world. Uh, if you go on YouTube right now, don't do it right now, but after we're finished, if you go on YouTube and just type in the words Warren Buffett public speaking, you will find Warren Buffett on camera saying these words. He said that the greatest investment he ever made in his life was taking a public speaking skills course. He said that when he entered college, 
He was so frightened of public speaking that just the thought of getting in front of anybody in a public speaking environment would literally cause him to throw up. That's so sad. So many people suffer from that fear and it holds them back. So many of you have great courses or a great product or a great service that you want people to purchase. And you're held back because it's just so frightened to even think about getting on a webcam and giving a little 60 second elevator pitch that will help promote yourself. Uh, that's so sad. And I've worked with people all of my life in, in helping them overcome uh, those fears and working with them in skills, projection, inflection, enthusiasm. Uh, those are skills that I used when I gave my elevator pitch that I didn't use a moment ago when I said, uh, hi, my name is Gary Rogers. Uh, I'm conducting a free elevator pitch workshop. Uh, where you'll learn how to create and deliver. Nobody pays any attention to me. Gary. Yes, go ahead. This question is beyond the scope of this talk, so you may choose not to answer it. <clears throat> it the question is coming from, uh, from Adrian. Uh, how do you find a target audience for your elevator pitch? How do I find a target audience? Uh, that's a great question. It's an excellent question. Uh, all I do, I do three things. One, uh, I go to a lot of networking groups. Two, I give free, free workshops. Three, I conduct paid courses teaching people how to promote their business, their product, or their service. Uh, now, how, how do I find uh, ways to give my elevator pitch? Uh, that's a great, great question. The, when I first started doing this, all I did was just do elevator pitches, period. Uh, just getting in front of live audiences. There are many, many, many places in my course. We give you dozens and dozens of networking URLs where you can go and do the same thing. There are, uh, there are hundreds of them out there, uh, but you're limiting yourself to just going to uh, a place where you can give a free live elevator pitch. You have to be there in person to do that. And that's what I did for several years. And then I, I, I think I mentioned this before. I said, you idiot, Gary, I've been producing uh, videos for some of the greatest companies in the world for half my life. I said, Gary, you've got to take your elevator pitch and just put it into a promotional video. I've got a $5 million stock footage library where I can put cutaway shots that pertain to what I'm saying and what my students are saying that really dress up the video. And now I, I'm not limited to anybody. Uh, if I've got your uh, email address, I can send you an email inviting you to my free elevator pitch. And you can see a promotional video that I've created. And you can do the same thing with your business uh, with your target audience. There are millions of millions of people waiting to hear my, uh, my spiel, if you will, and millions, it, it, I'm really limiting myself. Usually uh, in any given field, uh, there are hundreds of millions of people every day going to Google search and searching for whatever your course, product, or service is, literally. Uh, and there, we could take all the rest of the, the time just talking about where to find them. So uh, I better not take any more time, but hopefully I've answered that question. So question from Leo. So to give a good elevator pitch, he's now talking about delivery. To give a good elevator pitch, you have to be a good actor, uh, bracket, express yourself in a genuine way, put emotions into your words. No, nope. every day I work with people that have never had any acting lessons in their entire life. They're ordinary people like you and I are. And when they first come to me, they say, oh, Gary, uh, I don't know if I can do that. Ooh. Uh, by the end of our course, they're on camera and we film them. 
uh, giving their elevator pitches. Now, some are better than others, uh, but all of them, all of them are doing a wonderful job uh, by the end of the course. Anybody can do that. Uh, projection, inflection, enthusiasm, uh, uh, but sometimes it takes a little working out, get a little more projection in here. And when you talk about uh, command attention, uh, let's use a gesture here uh, and emphasize, put some inflection in that word, command attention instead of, uh, I can teach you how to command attention. Again, anybody can do that, but it takes a little practice. And that's what I do uh, in in working with people. Anybody can do that. Gary, Donna wants you to hold up your, the webcam uh, with the uh, extension for long enough. Sure. And this is not it. This yeah. is not it. If hold you, it. Gary, if, Gary, Gary, hold it steady so that Donna can take a picture. Uh, you don't need to do that because on the replay, you will go back to the photograph. This is a terrible a terrible tripod. It doesn't extend. The one I showed you does. You can get it on Amazon for 20 bucks. 20 bucks. This is a terrible one. Terrible that's base. It falls over. Uh, this is not the one I use. That's the probably one I enough. use is right in front of me, and you saw the picture of it. That's probably enough. Gary, you've got five minutes left. <laughs> well, I better just uh, uh, quit here. I... Uh, I, I feel sad because I can't really interact with anybody in this type of environment. Uh, I'd like to invite anybody watching this presentation to go to the URL above my head. And I don't know, Roger, if you leave a link uh, in, in uh, uh, the aftermath, uh, but you can uh, just go to that URL and schedule a free elevator pitch. I'd love to work with every single one of you. There's no obligation whatsoever. Again, it's free. Uh, and all I do in that workshop is work with you and helping you, uh, giving you tips and what to do to create your own elevator pitch workshop. Uh, now, that's not my course. That's not my paid course. In my paid course, I actually help you write it. Uh, now, we don't, I don't have time to do that in 90 minute with a group, but I can give you all the elements that you need uh, to create your own and hopefully answer a lot of questions uh, for you. Uh, I thank you so much for uh, being with me. Uh, I'm an old man. I have been around a long time, but I love what I do. I love working with people. I love helping people build their business. And my job is to help people promote their business more than anything. That's the number one struggle that virtually anybody on the internet has in live courses or selling a product or service without spending an arm and a leg in Google ads and Facebook ads, which I did. You can learn from my mistakes, but uh, Roger, I want to thank you. Uh, in fact, Roger, I met Roger at, a, at one of my free elevator pitches about four months ago when I first started this uh, free workshop. Ro that's where I met Roger. And Roger said, hey, Gary, when I ended the workshop, he said, stay, I want to talk to you. And he invited me to come four months later and speak to you guys. And I have learned a lot about Roger. He is a master at what he does with putting projects uh, together. Boy, he gave me a four page uh, a PDF file. You need to do this. You need to do that. And he really knows what he's doing. Uh, I, I congratulate you, Roger. And that thank you from the bottom of my heart for inviting me here. I hope to see a lot of people from your group and hope to help every single one of them. Well, thank you for those kind words, Gary. I do have a closing question. Uh, an elevator pitch is a reflection of the clarity of the deliverer of the pitch. Uh, my experience is that entrepreneurs just ramble all over the place, suggesting to me they do so because they lack clarity. In your course, the 90 minute or the paid one, do you help them get to the point of clarity that is then reflected in a short 30 to 60 second elevator pitch? Absolutely. I, I don't film anybody 
And we don't, in fact, they don't even uh, start the live course until we've spent time on Zoom together writing uh, that elevator pitch uh, until it's to the point where the client, my student, and myself feel, boy, this is perfect. This is exactly what both of us want for the elevator pitch. Uh, so that starts, uh, that's the first stage, part one of the course, if you will, before we ever film it, we've got to have the right words. And then we work on the delivery portion in making those words come alive. And right. we, enough said. Right. Uh, there's an old expression in business that nothing ever happens until something gets sold. And what you have just done in this talk is saying, and the selling bit begins with the elevator pitch. Uh, so I think that's a massively refreshing message. It takes us right back to the basics of business. Uh, until we get the start strong, the continuation is always going to be compromised. Gary, I thank you for dropping that very, very important message on EIN's 78,000 members. Uh, we are very, very grateful. Thank you. Thank you.